are doing okay today today is a wig analysis on this gorgeous unit right here this is another one of my favorite units that I picked up so far in my collection and I'm gonna go ahead and recommend it to you I'm gonna give this unit a 9 out of 10 I love it just that much so before we get started here let me just say happy Tuesday to everyone out there hope you're having a beautiful and blessed day and if you're new to my channel please subscribe down below don't hesitate it is absolutely free I do hair reviews, hauls, and anything fashion here on my channel. So stay tuned for this video and future videos to come. So yes, I love this crimp wig. It is simply gorgeous. So um, this is the Natural Hairline Premium Lace. It comes from the brand Diana. And uh, it's a bohemian wig inspired by bo bohemian hair. Um, this is the style LPW Jada. And I have it in a color... TAT for one four five one twenty six D. So I'll leave the um, details right here. And this is the wig. Um, when I saw this wig, I was like, let me just take a gamble because the waves look a little pretty, but it did look a little thin on her. But however, this wig is not thin at all. I'm going to push all the hair to the front right quick so you can see. Here's all the hair pushed to the front. It is a medium to natural density. It's not really, really a, like a lot of hair, but it's not too skimpy. I just love the waves. I'm gonna get up on the waves, the crimps. So here are the crimps up close. And what I love about this wig um, is that the crimps do stay into place and they do stay. Um, I did comb through this a little bit to kind of break up some of the crimps um, and the crimps did not fall. Um, I did a review on Tyra Crimp from, I think it was um, Main Concept and the crimps did fall so you don't have to worry about um, the crimps falling with this one now you do get baby hairs with this unit I just kind of laid them down to the side the parting is a uh, six inch part I think they said on here yes it's a six inch natural deep part um the parting is a little slim this is how it comes so if you want to add your press powder you can do so it doesn't look too bad but you can always go in and pluck that part as far as the texture the texture is a silky texture um it's more yakier at the ends just a little bit of yakky um it doesn't have too different of a texture um so it the texture does match on um the top and the bottom but it's just a little bit more um yakier at the bottom this one is about a 22 inch so if you like a longer unit you will love this one it does come with three combs two at the side one in the back with the adjustable straps the cap size is a medium to large head friendly cap size so just about anybody can fit into this unit um you do get the wefted holes in the back so your hair can breathe through as far as the luster it is a little shiny so you're gonna need some dry shampoo um it doesn't look horrible though but um it is a little bit shiny so i'm gonna go in with my uh dry shampoo and just put a little bit on there and um it should take a little bit of that shine away so i'm gonna give you a 360 here is the front touching my buttocks so it is quite long 
um i usually don't go for this long of a unit but i really really do enjoy these crimps in here so um you can curl this one up to 370 to 400 i wouldn't exceed 370 because you don't want to burn this one out but after a while i would say go ahead and uh flatten this one out if it gets old and too um unmanageable um now it's saying that it has a uh, natural layer curl volume um it has uh, layers at the bottom so um yeah just like very long layers so you got your longest and then your medium and your longest at the bottom so they're very very long layers you can always go in and cut some layers into her um you're getting a lot of colors with this one i just love this color it is a dark root 1b um the the roots do not go throughout or yes they do yep they do go throughout so that's good it looks most natural um so you get a color 1b2 fs 1b30 fs 430 you get a burgundy fs 1b burgundy and also the color that i have on the model and um it's giving you the care card instructions on the back of this unit how to take care of it now it's saying um you shouldn't immerse this water in um uh, sorry immerse this wig in water all the way you should just spray it down with a water bottle and put shampoo on it and then spray the shampoo out but in my opinion i don't think that will work too well so um yeah after a while i would just say um completely wash the wig now i'm gonna add um some um hair odor on here um a hair uh, freshener to freshen up this wig a little bit it's, it doesn't stink but i like to put this on the wigs because after a while um when you're outside they tend to have like the outside smell but um yeah as far as shedding um this is how much shedding i did get in the beginning and that is due to it being a uh, process and being blonde so it's going to shed but it did die down a lot so you don't have to worry about it too much at all and i just love it it's really pretty for the fall i love the color and everything as far as the lace it did come uh from ear to ear and the lace lays pretty flat you don't need to gel this one down or it got to be glue it down because it lays pretty flat um, to your head and as well as at the top you don't have to put a pressing comb to it so i thought that was amazing for this unit and here is the lace it is a natural brown lace it matches to the tee so if you're lighter skin tone you will have to add your powder or your lace tint so that's pretty much it one more 360 um this wig was fairly inexpensive i did get it from um glamourtrends.com now on their site right now they have 12 percent off but they also have like a video you can watch on YouTube to get the secret code to give you an extra 3% off. So it will be 15% off. So this wig um, was probably like 30 or like 25 to $30. So not bad. I'll leave Glamour Trust link down below to this wig. Um, make sure you give me a thumbs up for this video and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.